sure spent millions of dollars. So first and foremost, I'm going to read the bills because that's what you're sending me up there to do. In effect, I have to act like an attorney. I'm supposed to represent you. How can I represent you and go up there and not read the bill? So I would never vote for anything that I am not reading. Secondly, the parts of the bill that we do know about are kind of scary, aren't they? <coughs> now, they're giving all kinds of numbers around. My understanding of government is this. There is only one program that they've gotten right financially and actually came in under, and that was George W. Bush's, uh, you know, uh, Part D, you know, as far as with uh, prescriptions, it actually come in under. Medicare was underestimated by 900%. Mm -hmm. Now, they have flashed around numbers of 860 billion, but Harry Reid said it was 2.1 trillion. And in the same sentence, he said, what's 54 million billion dollars in tort reform? Why are we concerned about it? It's 54 billion dollars. I'm going to tell you that that health care bill is double or triple, and what's going to happen is, there's for many of you in this room, it's a death knell. Mm. The Democratic Party has been making promises, and some Republicans that they cannot fulfill. They have just told you what the end result is. And so I'm not going to do it. I just buried my, I went up to Michigan, where I was born, twice last year. Once to bury my brother from cancer, and one to bury my mother, my second parent. She wouldn't have lasted the last seven, eight years with this new health care that they're proposing. It isn't going to happen. How can I stand up in front of you, which has one of the largest Social Security collections, it's either number one or two in the country, and say I'm for a health care bill that I know is bad, that I know is going to cut Medicare, and excuse me, I don't know what's in the bill. Well, I should go back to my safe company, because I'm not doing my job. That will never happen. Thank you very much. First question regarding the governor's bill, I believe it was 718. I believe the governor isn't signing that because uh, he believes it'll, it'll be struck out uh, if he would sign it, that the uh, judicial branch would uh, find it illegal. Uh, as far as reading the health care bill, uh, Mr. Lynch believes that uh, many of those in Congress uh, shouldn't have voted yes or no. They should have voted president. Anybody to vote yes or no on something that they haven't read, if they don't know what's in it, how can they vote on it, period. Uh, further, Mr. Lynch could, uh, could decide how to vote on it, as he has uh, read all of the bills up until uh, most recently. He, he has read both H.R. 676 and several of the virgin, versions of H.R. 3200. Uh, right now, there really, I believe, is no exact bill as it's in committee between the Senate and the House. Uh, but I'm sure uh, it, when that monster comes out somewhere over 2,500 pages, he's going to have some, uh, some bedside reading. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. I, I have to be honest. I'm an independent, one of those independent people. Uh, I voted Republican at times. I voted Democrat at times. Sometimes I didn't even want to vote, but I did. Uh, but I'm very concerned with where our country is today. First of all, I'm an American. I'm not a Republican, and I'm a Democrat, and I'm an independent. I'm an American, who I, and I love my country very, very much. And that's why I'm here tonight. And everything that your candidate said is very important, very important, especially uh, health care with all of us here in Winmore, and uh, uh, foreclosures, which takes a big part of special assessments in certain villages. All of that is very important. I don't want to take up a lot of time. but. Don't you candidates agree that if we bring up employment, the foreclosures would stop, health care would be better, and our country would re be revived in, in an e economical way? I can't understand how you could do anything without bringing up uh, jobs for people. We, give, we gave our, our everything to China. They gave us back leaded in toys for our children. Bad sheetrock, which is destroying air conditioners, is uh, making people actually move out of their homes. We don't know what the long distance ramifications are going to be in regards, does this cause cancer? But we give it to them and we keep giving it to them. And no one does anything about it. But 
don't, I'd just like to hear from 